Hello, I'm Sherry Chenin, and I'm the Family Ministry Coordinator at First Presbyterian Church, Carson City, Nevada. And this is Praises and Paper Folding. This week, we're going to do a fox. It's a pretty easy fold and it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. Praises and Paper Folding is a 16-week video series where we will be learning origami while creating Noah's Ark. Working with many people, we are going to fold Noah, 12 animals, the ark, and at the very end we want to bring everybody together who's been folding with us to create a humongous rainbow. After that, we're going to ask everybody who has completed a Noah's Ark at home to bring it to the church to display for everyone to enjoy. Well, here we are today with my friend Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. Good to see you today. Thank you for coming in. Shirley. Um, <laughs> what does it say? My name's not Shirley, but oh. that's all right. <laughs> Terrible. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Susan Sehoy. Um, I moved here a little less than 20 years ago to be with my sweetheart John Riser that I met when I worked in Colorado when I was in college. I've been a teacher for 38 years. I taught first through fifth. I enjoyed it thoroughly, but I gave it up to be with John. Oh my. Yes. Well then he must be a special guy. He is a special guy. Very good. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, we are going to be um, making a fox today, and so I'm going to show you. This is what this is our finished fox. I think he's just so cute, and he's very easy to fold. So this will be a nice, easy fold today. And I pre-colored with these Crayola colored pencils, but if you have, mm -hmm. they're I guess they are colored pencils. I thought they were crayons. Um, if you have a colored pencil. That would be a good time to use them because he doesn't have his little white tail like foxes do. So if you could erase it, that would be kind of nice to have that, mm -hmm. that little detail. Mm -hmm. So just a thought on something that you could do. So we can be ready to fold now. Okay, before we uh, start today, I do want to show everybody at home something kind of neat. Um, you know, this is onion skin paper that I found, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is imprinted on it, besides the words onion skin, a fox. And so I thought that was a kind of fun little detail there. We're going to make a fox with a paper that has a fox on it. <laughs> All right, and we're going to start with two valley folds. We've been doing a lot of valley folds, and so we're going to do our valley folds from corner to corner. Two of them, so we'll end up with those four triangles. So just take one corner and Am I doing this Hold with them. you? Absolutely. Alright. Very good. And then we're just going to go the other way. Get the, the corners lined up. There we go. Okay. So if we open that up, you can see we've got those four triangles coming together in the center at one point. You've got those two. Got it. Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take one of those and just close it like that. And then what we're going to do is take this edge here, right at the middle. Here's the here's the middle right there. We're going to take this edge and fold it to here. So we're going to take this point and put it to this point, and that will fold this edge to this edge. So we go like that. Got it. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Got it. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half like this. So you just if you pick it up and fold it in half, you're good to go. And we'll pause there for a second. Okay. So I can chat with you. We've been, uh, this is called Praises and Paper Folding. We're talking about Noah's Ark and the faith that Noah displayed in building this ark over the years. And it's not raining and people are 
thinking he's pretty out there. But he continued to build it because God told him to. So my question to you is, what does faith mean to you? Well, faith to me is, it's how I, let's see, interact with other people and how other people interact with me and hopefully in that um, they can learn from me how to be kind and faithful to others. And um, the Denver Broncos quarterback, he had on his, under his eye John 3.16, and that says, For God so loved the world. And see, he is giving his faith so that his followers would hopefully look that up and see what that is. So, John 3.16, you can look that up and see what it is. He has a tattoo? Oh, no, they have a, a black, oh, okay. black under oh, their I eyes, see. and so they put it on that. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Neat. Well, thank you. Shirley. <laughs> My name's not Shirley. <laughs> now you're catching on. <laughs>we go on I just kind of want to show everybody that's watching um, if you've got it facing upright it will look like this and it will have the open edges to your right for what we're about to do so I'm holding it upside down to myself right now it's right side up for you I'm going to now turn it upside down for you right side up for me so Susan one of the things I've been telling everybody in this is Origami is such a precise folding, and either you have to be very precise or just kind of go for it. And on this one, we're just going to kind of go for it. And I oftentimes just draw a little line to help people. What we're going to do is from this bottom corner, we're going to make a fold, and it can, it's not going to be much of the paper. And I'm just going to draw a little line here, and I'll show you kind of where I've gone with it. And it's a little bit light, but I don't really want it dark. So, so you can see at home, you see I drew a line right there. And you don't have to draw a line, but it just helps me to show you. So what we're going to do is just take that and fold that from the corner up to the middle part there. And so when you've done that, it'll look like this. From the corner. Up there you go. You got it. You got it. Middle exactly. Part. Right, and it's not 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 quite that far. Okay. Don't go quite that far. It's. Am I moving my board? Kind of like Oops. <laughs> but you just said we could kind of be casual. It's, we can. We can. Okay. Now ready? Ready. So we kind of we have three bits of paper here. One, two, three. And we're going to take the first one and fold it back flat like this. The first one and, and fold it back. Just kind of have it back so it's oh, straight okay. in. Mm -hmm. And the one that's closest over here, we're just going to keep there. So we have this, we have this bit in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Now I get to do one of my favorite folds. It's called a squash fold. We're going to open that middle one up and just press it down. And we'll have the two ears, those are the two flaps we kept, and then we'll have the face and what we fold it down. Oh, and then there we you fold go. it you down. Just, you, you squash it. Uh -huh. And then you have your little face cool. with your little nose, right? All right. And then we only have one more fold on this one. We're going to take this point over here, and we're going to fold it back along here to make the tail. And again, like I said, if you could use colored pencils and just color this white um, or erase it so that it's white. There's our little fox. How'd you do? Can you tell it's a fox? I can totally fox? tell it's a fox. That's wonderful. That's such a good fool. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, question two. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. She's a teacher. She has te We're both elementary teachers, yeah. so you know, sometimes there's a pop quiz. Oh. Oh, good. 
So this is Noah's Ark, and we're definitely getting into that, but the Bible is rich with so many different stories. And so my question to you is, if you were, if you could have inserted yourself in any Bible story, what would you have liked to have been a part of? Well, it's filled with many stories, but I'm going to choose the same one. Okay. That I just talked about. <laughs> All right. John 3.16. Uh -huh. So, you want me to tell my story all over again? <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, well, John 3.16. <laughs> yes. There you go. And they're going to check that out, I know. Okay. Well, that's a good way of showing faith is by oh, putting yes, that out there. That's right. Having, and again, as a teacher, you're not going to give them the answer. Right. They got to do a little bit of work themselves. That's right. All right. Thank you. Well, Susan and I took a little time and we went ahead and, and put our little fox faces on. And uh, so we've got Susan's and mine right here. And I think they turned out really well. They did. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to do it, but I did it. It, it wasn't that difficult. No, it wasn't. No. Thank you for following along. Thank you for being here. Surely. <laughs> I better stop that, doesn't it? So, I enjoyed it. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for tuning into this, and uh, we'll see you next week with yet another animal.